Good morning. So two things. First thing, I got a nightgown that has pockets is, and I'm gonna show you because I feel like my audience will appreciate this. <laughs> so, um, hold up. This is the best thing ever. And it has pockets. It has good, good pockets. Like, nice pockets, you know? Like, you can put stuff in them. The whole thing is kind of stretchy, like, really stretchy like I think it has spandex in it I can't remember exactly but I think it has something stretchy in the fabric so um if you put something heavy in the pocket the reason I'm telling you this if you put anything more heavy than like your cell phone it's kind of irritating to walk around with but I will say some pockets are better than no pockets I'm working this morning up here in my office and Fairby was up here she ate her whole entire breakfast and then I went downstairs to make a second cup of coffee I wanted to show you these coasters too Cute. Aren't these so cute? I got them for like $4.99 on Prime Day. I'll link them. I've heard that some of the Prime Day deals were not actually deals, so they might be $4.99 still. <laughs> Either way, I was in the market for coasters because I I work in my office sometimes. I work in my craft room, as y'all know, sometimes. And also I sit in the front room, like where my old rocking chair is a lot of times too. And I don't have coasters in there. And so I have to carry a coaster with me because I usually have a drink. They're just rubber, like silicone little things. They have a ton of colors too. So I'm about to order groceries and I have been ordering groceries from Walmart for about six months now. I really, really love it. And I think I've mentioned it a few times in passing. I wanted to tell you about it because for me, I've had anxiety really bad about going places. As you know, if you've, if you've watched the vlogs, <laughs> then you know I have a lot of trouble with anxiety and going places and stuff. And even though Faraby is my service dog and she helps me whenever we go places, I feel like it is in my best interest to not put myself in situations where I know my anxiety is gonna be higher. So for that, I started ordering groceries. And I felt like an asshole, honestly, because it's like, I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a luxury expense, let me say that. And I feel like that, not that I don't deserve it, but I know what my finances are. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, this is like one of those things that's like, is that really justifiable? And I truly think it is from a, what I'm looking at it kind of like as a medical standpoint, because if I was getting that upset where I was having panic attacks and upset stomach and everything else, whenever I was getting ready to go to the grocery store, it would just make sense that that would be causing me, that's medical problems, which sounds ridiculous. And if you don't struggle with anxiety, then you, you're lucky, number one, but also this probably sounds ridiculous. And I am very, very well aware of that. But a lot of people like myself do struggle with anxiety. And simple things like going to the grocery store can be very upsetting. So that's why I started doing delivery from Walmart. And what I was gonna say about it, and this is why I was saying that they don't know who I am, is because it, to me, I feel like even with paying the subscription fee and tipping the driver, if it happens to get picked up by Instacart. Sometimes it gets picked up by Walmart and it won't let you leave a tip, but sometimes it's like Instacart people and you can tip. So anyways, even if I tap the tip, um, I feel like it's about the same money as it was whenever I was going to Kroger and Publix. And then that way, whenever I do go out, the places that I am going are for fun and it's something that I truly wanna do and not something that's upsetting. So I like it for the convenience now that I've done it. And now that I've gotten over feeling like an asshole, <laughs> I really, really like it. Basically, I have messed up. I need to take a day or two and not post twice a day for like just a couple days, I think, because I don't, like, I have footage and I don't know what I have where. And I have accidentally repeated my post somewhere once and I don't want to have that happen again and it's like and I got called out too because it was like this is a double post and it was like whoa I didn't mean to do that like you have to think if you're putting out this much content like you're bound to make mistakes so somebody was not nice to me on Facebook about it and then also um TikTok I did it and I got a penalty and it was like 
I can't remember what I've posted where. So basically, I need to take a whole entire, like, just day and devote it to seeing what I've posted where. So if you are posting places, if you're posting content and you're posting multiple pieces of content a day, especially in different places, keep better track than I did because this has been a mess. I don't know, I don't even know what is where. I cannot even tell you like how bad this is because I'm posting, <laughs> I posted on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, in YouTube, but I post on YouTube the very most. I was posting on TikTok and YouTube the same amount, but then TikTok got, because I got a penalty and it scared me. And so now I'm like, ooh, let me only post whenever I'm positive for sure that it's a brand new piece. So I'm slowing down over there. Like I can't post as much. Facebook I'm posting daily. And then on Instagram, I'm not posting, but like every couple days. And the reason is because Instagram doesn't pay creators for posting and everywhere else does. So I don't get paid per view. They are supposedly like testing out a program and I'm not in it, but I've heard they're testing something out. So I'm holding content back because whenever they have that, like I wanna post stuff over there. But like, if something's doing really good, I know this is bad, but if something's doing really good on a platform that I get paid for, like YouTube, I'm not gonna go put that content someplace that's not gonna pay me. Like that doesn't make sense for me. Unless it's something that a brand has paid me to post. You know what I mean? Like it is, it would not be in my best interest to do that. And I hate that it's that way because it kind of robs the audience, but like you have to think this is how people earn money. So if a platform is not going to pay creators, and the platform is getting paid too, that's the thing. Like there are ads on your post. Like there are ads like at the end of Reels now. Instagram is getting paid, but they are just not paying it to the creator. So it kind of also, like that gives me the ick too. Like, mm, I don't know. It just free... Just people working for free in general, it just bothers me. I don't know. I just don't think it's fair. I just, I think that everyone deserves to be compensated for their time, that's all. Also, if you ever notice that everything is last on Instagram, like all the trends are last on Instagram, that's why. Because everyone posts it somewhere else first because it's monetized, that's why. Because <laughs> everyone wants to get their money first and then after, after it's gone viral or done whatever everywhere else, it's like, well, might as well do it over here and see if I can boost my following too. And I'm sure that is why everyone does it that way, unless you're monetized over there, which there's not a lot of people who are. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of people's strategy. I'm gonna put my headphones on actually and get some stuff done. This is so sad. <laughs> I need new headphones. My headphones are, I love these though. They still like the, sound part works really good like i mean i love these headphones but they are ripped up i mean i've used them a lot i got them about a decade ago <laughs> but they still work like they still sound great this is like way old like <laughs> you can't even get teal accessories anymore this is like not a trendy color anymore also my chair is doing the same thing i keep stuff for too long like i will hold on to my stuff until it falls apart literally and it'll still look like if it wasn't falling apart it would be in great condition so it's kind of unfortunate about taking care of stuff i'm gonna go work with headphones on yesterday i filmed some clips so that i could do a little short afternoon day in the life i just imported them i have an hour i have 58 minutes <laughs> worth of footage groceries got here I'm so excited to try out this Kraft mac and cheese that's plant-based. I know that I love the Daya one. I get it all the time and it's really good, but I was excited to try the Kraft one. I got some Guardian frozen plant-based meats. Got a Daya pizza. I love these. I actually had this for dinner last night too. Fries, squash, and then some frozen vegetables for Farabee. Farabee's sleeping on her little bed, helping me work. All of my chair crumbles where it's falling apart are in the floor. Faraby and I are probably going to be taking a little step back and not posting, but once a day for a little while. It's been nice. It's been cool to post that much, but honestly, it's, it's, it's not worth my mental health for like, you know, less than like a dollar, <laughs> like any amount of money, but it's not substantial enough to be like, oh, I need to do this many. Giving myself the permission and like announcing it like this, even though this is the vlog, so it's not really announcing it because not many people watch this, but 
given myself permission in this kind of way, I'm hoping that it will free me up to be more creative and then make better content because I share a lot of fairy talking, but like we've been working extra, like I've mentioned recently, and whenever we're working that much, she's not around her buttons because we're usually in the office, which is fine, but basically it makes it where I have to kind of be creative. And if my brain is in a space of like, I'm going too fast and I can't even keep up, then I can't possibly be creative. So anyways, what I'm planning to do is still post once a day because I like to post at least once a day. Like, especially whenever I'm going from posting like two or three, I can maintain one. That's like only have to edit one day, basically. I might go back up to two at some point. I don't know. I just, I I think this is the right move for us. So, I mean, we're still posting. <laughs> we're not going anywhere, but that way maybe the other content can be a little bit better too. You know, the things that aren't just her talking. So, maybe we can do a little bit better job on that, right? Have a bath before noon and put makeup on and look presentable. That would be cool too to come on the vlog like that one day. I kind of wouldn't mind doing more longer form content like this too, but this doesn't do good, but I like talking like this. I feel like it's more fun to just like talk about the things that are going on. You know what I mean too. So anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with us. I hope you have an awesome relaxing day and we'll see you soon.